Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Today we're going to make a card with the Swallowtail stamp. This is a big stamp and um, I got it for a particular project but then found that actually it really works with cards as well. I, I'd sort of thought it was going to be too big um, but actually you can do all sorts of things where you use part of the butterfly and I'm going to show you one of those today. So. Um, I, my, my base card is Cherry Cobbler, that's uh, a half a sheet of A4, uh, scored in half, um, cut in half and sorry, scored in half. And then the next layer um, I'm using Sahara Sand and that is three and seven eighths by five and a half. And um, then I've got a layer of designer paper. Now this is from the Typeset, um, I think is what it's called. It's called Typeset Speciality Paper. You get double the number of sheets um, as you do in our normal. You get 24 sheets in here. And you'll see that there's quite a, a range of different um, options in there. Maps. And look at that. I remember we had a stamp like that once. That's lovely. Um, lots of different ones that you can use. This is a thinner paper. Um, so it is supposed to um, give the impression of newsprint, but of course it doesn't come off on your fingers and you can stamp on it and it's just fine. So I'm going to use a piece of that and that's at three and five eighths by five and a quarter. And I'm going to actually ink up my butterfly with Versamark ink. well up and then I'm going to lay that um, just across my paper and give it a good press down. Now the rule with stamps is the smaller the stamp the lighter the touch but when you're using a big background stamp like this you can sit on them if you like and you'll be fine. Okay now we can't see a thing on there just at the moment um, so we're going to take some cherry cobbler embossing powder and I'm just going to pour all over and if by ma as if by magic our butterfly will appear. And I always keep my um, embossing powders in these larger pots uh, for this very reason. You can just tap it straight back in rather than the little pots that, um, that it actually comes in. And these are from Ikea and they're super cheap. You get loads and loads of them in a, in a pack. Okay, so I'm now going to get my heat gun. And I'm going to heat set this. I have got the new Stampin' Up! European heat gun, which is a lot quieter than the old one, so hopefully you can still hear me. And as I can see that powder changing and setting, I'm moving the heat gun onto the next part. So I'll just get that finished. Okay. So that is now set, and I don't know if you can see, but it's beautiful and glossy on there. Looks really yummy. So I'll bring in my my um, card pieces and we'll just glue those together. Use some Tombow. Now when it comes to thinner papers, and it depends what it is, but certainly sometimes with the Whisper White and the Vanilla as well, but certainly with this one where it's going to be quite a, a, a thin um, paper compared to what we're used to. I don't want to press hard with the tip onto here because I'm actually going to get um, some marks. So I'm going very gently, barely touching it as I'm squeezing my glue out. So now I can use the other end of this and then just spread that out and stick it on. we go. Right, okay, to finish off this um, card with a greeting, um, I'm going to use um, the You Make Me Happy, which is from Perfect Penance. Um, and I'm going to stamp this in Cherry Cobbler onto some very vanilla. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that out by hand. There are, uh, are dies that match perfect pennants, um, but they are larger than I want. I want this to be really tight, um, so I'm actually going to hand cut this. See, I've got cherry cobbler, but it has dried. It does dry very quickly, our ink. Um, Okay, I'm going to take another little strip of the Sahara sand and the easiest way, you see my practice stamping on the back. To do this is just to stick that on like so and I'll just follow that as a, as a guide. So I think this needs just something more and I've just taken my oval punch and just punch straight through that corner there. You didn't see that because my video camera switched itself off. That's always annoying when that happens. But that's what I did. And that enables me to feed through this beautiful, beautiful gold satin ribbon. This is in the big catalogue and you can't believe how shimmery and lovely it is. Um, it's also fairly well behaved for tying a bow, which is what I'm going to do today. Live bow tying, always a little bit nervy. A little bit more there. And by making that little um, oval in the edge, it just gives you a nice flat way to make that, that um, ribbon lie nicely. Ribbon scissors, give that a trim off. I'll probably play with that a little bit more afterwards. And then I'm going to take the You Make Me Happy, which we did earlier, and pop that up. And oh, where am I going to put it? <gasps> decisions, decisions. I'm going to just put it right. So, I hope you like that project. Do have a look. If you have Swallowtail or you're thinking of getting it, don't rule out a smaller card. Um, it does do them by just using part of the image. I hope you've enjoyed your visit to Elizabeth's Craft Room today and I look forward to welcoming you back soon. Love.